just a few years ago. Building a mobile app meant hiring a team of developers and spending tens of thousands of dollars. Today you can create your own app all by yourself and almost for free. It can be a real boost to your company's reputation and a super convenient way to connect with your customers. Hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to create a simple chatbot app using Bolt New, a platform that writes the code for you and lets you instantly see what your mobile software will look like. As always, I'll take you from getting familiar with the interface all the way to a fully working application. Let's get started and explore how this AI can build apps for us. Bolt Tutorial Let's explore how to create a mobile app using Bolt New. It's an AI tool that lets you build, edit, and run full-stack web and mobile apps. You can either import your design from Figma or simply describe your app in English, drop the description into the chat, and let the AI handle the rest. You can also start from scratch using JavaScript or TypeScript frameworks. Just pick one and start building with the help of AI. Now let's ask it to create a mobile app with chat that integrates with the OpenAI API. On the home screen, we want to see model selection, a start chat button, and a settings option. When the user taps start chat, the app should launch a conversation with the selected model. Let's go ahead and ask it to build this app and see how it performs. As you can see, the AI has already created a project tree in its IDE and is now adding files and installing the necessary dependencies. It's doing all of this using React and the React native library, which is designed specifically for building mobile apps. You can watch in real time as it generates files and writes code. We'll be using the OpenAI library, which means we'll need an API key. So the first thing we need to do is get our OpenAI API key. The tool offers a QR code you can scan with your phone. After that, you can run the app directly on your mobile device. Alternatively, you can launch it inside Bolt's built-in environment. In our case, we chose to run it in the editor. But we've got one small issue. We didn't follow one of the required setup steps that Bolt's AI provided. Specifically, we didn't enter the OpenAI API key. So here's what we need to do. Go to openai.com specifically to the API platform. Open your profile and find the API key section. Let's go ahead and create a new secret key. This one will be for personal use. You can also generate a key for a service account. A service account lets the app run under a specific project. And you can even share the key with your team. We'll keep it simple and create a regular key, naming it Mobile App Chat. Select the default project. You can also configure permissions. Either set it to read only or grant full access. We'll leave the permission set to the All tab and go ahead and create the key. Make sure to copy it right now, because once this screen is closed, you won't be able to retrieve it again. If that happens, you'll need to generate a new one. Now let's move over to the code and check where we have to paste the key. We see a terminal error, but no worries. Let's click Attempt Fix and let Bolt handle it automatically. We've already copied the key so now we just need to wait for the AI to launch our app. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks. Let's get back. 
Once again, the platform prompts us to install Expo Go on an iOS or Android device. There is also another issue that came up during the build. Let's use the Fix Item option again. The AI continues to add lines of code step by step. Let's see if it manages to launch the app this time. We now see the Start New Chat screen. The only thing I still haven't figured out is where exactly we are supposed to enter the API key. Let's ask about that. I'll ask, where do I input the API key? The answer is Settings tab in the bottom navigation. Perfect. You can choose between two available models. The list of models is pulled from your OpenAI account, depending on the plan you're subscribed to. Let's go with GPT 3.5 Turbo. In the Settings tab, we'll enter our OpenAI API key. Nice! It immediately masks the key with asterisks for security. There's even a dark mode toggle. It's not fully functional across the whole app yet, but it might work in the chat. So let's go ahead and launch the chat. When the browser offers to save a password, I clicked never. Now let's ask the AI who it is. We can see that it's generating a response. But unfortunately, I didn't get any reply this time. So I'll let Bolt know that the response is taking too long and suggest that it display any errors directly in the chat. Just in case something went wrong. I'll also ask it to add a back button. I'd like the option to return to the previous screen and adjust the settings. Let's see what happens next. It responds that it can help us modify the chat. So let's wait for the updated version and see how it turns out. And here it is. Bolt has adjusted and relaunched the chat app. We can now make our selection again. Let's test it by asking, Hi, who are you? Now it's working. The response says, Hello, I am a virtual assistant designed to help answer questions and provide information. So the chat is fully operational. Let's try out a few basic questions to test it further. Since we are using GPT 3.5, of course, it may come with some of the usual limitations. Let's give it our standard question. And as expected, it slips up. It says that 9.11 is greater than 9.9. .9. Now let's switch to the GPT-4 model and see how it handles it. And there we go. GPT-4 gives us the correct answer. So in just about 10 minutes, maybe even less, we have built a fully functional app. You can even run it on your phone using Expo Go, which Bolt prompted us to install at the beginning. That's exactly what I'm going to do now. I've restarted the project, scanned the QR code, and launched it on my phone. Now, there are a few bugs in the mobile version that I can't fix, but that's okay. I'll enter my OpenAI API key directly on the phone and test the app anyway. And yes, once I enter the API keys through the phone, I gained full access to the chat. I can now type messages and interact with OpenAI chat. So let's ask it to generate a vegetarian dinner recipe that includes the ingredients, step-by-step -step instructions, and detailed nutrition info, including calories and macros. Let's see how well it does. And the answer comes back pretty quickly. It says it's happy to help and provides everything we asked for. The recipe is right here, with all the details. 
Of course, the mobile version still needs some adjustments, but the core functionality is all there. So with Bolt New, you can easily create apps like this entirely from scratch. Final thoughts. Ok, let's close things out with a few final thoughts. If you are looking for a simple and affordable way to build a mobile app, Bolt New is a solid choice. As you saw in real time, the tool generated working code that turned out to be fully functional. Sure, we ran into a couple of issues, but we fixed them easily using the auto-correction feature and a few extra prompts in the chat. In the end, we got a QR code that let us launch the app with all the features we built right on my smartphone. So what kind of app would you create? Drop your ideas in the comments. Let's build a collection of useful projects together. If you're excited to try it out, or if you have already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Until next time.